this is one time I really don't give a damn, you know? It was, it was good for us. Um, let's get through the disappointment so I can enjoy this. Uh, you know, first of all, uh, I give Chris a lot of credit. Um, you know, when you change your team that late in the year and do the things he's done, and he's played probably his best basketball the last four games, um, I, I got a lot of credit that goes to him. Those freshmen have been good. Suing has been really good. And, uh, and that's the first part of this. The second part is, you know, we're playing good, and I'll get to that, but our defense has been terrible. You know, we're not guarding. And, uh, and that's got to change. You know, we went from 1-2 in the league and regular field goal percentage defense. We went to, we're still, I think, 1 in the league in three-point percentage defense. And yet we're not guarding. And uh, some of it is matchups. Some of it is tough. They went real small a lot, you know, playing uh, likely at the uh, five. And, um, you know, we tried to stay traditional somewhat. And, but uh, for teams to be shooting, you know, we're shooting 54 and 60. And a coach should be happy. But I'm honestly not because I know we're not going to win that way, you know. Uh, we got to do a better job defensively. So, in saying that, we got to do a better. When you got to do a better job defensively, it usually turns into rebounding the ball. So those are the two areas that I think um, I put a big emphasis on uh, a week ago, and yet we hasn't carried over. I thought the second half when Tyson, AJ, and Jaden got after it, and in fairness to Malik, he's his back kind of really had some back spasms, and he just looked like he couldn't move at all. Uh, and that was a little tough on him. But, uh, you know, we had a 10-point lead again, and then ill-advised shot, turnover, two threes, and it's a ball game. So uh, we still got some work to do. But if you're shooting the ball this good, we should be able to regain our defense because we've been there already for probably two-thirds of this year. And uh, so it's not like we have to reinvent the wheel. We just have to get back to to understanding that uh, I think players, when you start scoring points, you know, I think it was Iowa women's basketball 40 years ago, you know, you played offense on one end and defense on the other. Um, if I could do that, I'd be really good, but I can't do that. So the guys that are scoring, and, and, and Tyson's been one of my best defenders, but that's the only thing that's been negative. On a positive, um, the ball is moving, the fast break. I think we had 17 points on our break early. That was a big plus. Um, you know, when we bared down, I thought we did a very good job defensively. It's With this team right now, it's sustaining things. That has been a little bit of an issue, and we'll just have to keep working on that. But we're not by ourselves. The whole country's got some problems with that, and, uh, you know, we just got to figure out how we can get better at it. So I was pleased. The crowd was awesome. Um, senior day is a tough day for everybody, uh, especially this year. And, you know, we're kind of on break, and a lot of those kids stayed. Uh, I, I can't thank everybody enough, the community and everybody that did their job. And, and now we sit back and wait tomorrow. I mean, we could be, I don't know, three seed, and we could be a 10 seed. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. It's, it's incredible, but it's, it is what it is, and we'll play the game how we play the game. Questions? Um, kind of alluding to that, you know, the, the tournament next weekend, I think it's now three to seven seeds. So you played yourself up with this today, but I, I guess how do you approach tomorrow with so much at stake? Do you try and gather well, the guys easy. together? That's easy. I, I, I get up, um, do a few Hail, Hail Marys, and then I go to church. And I pray for all the home teams to win, I think it is. And, uh, and then ask God for forgiveness for wasting his time on a game instead he's got other things to do. So that's what my Sunday morning will be like, to be honest with you. I, I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. I, I, I know this. I get blamed for a lot of things. I get praised for a lot of things. But I have no control of these things. I, I can guarantee you that. I'm, a, I'm, I'm just going to watch the TV like you guys. And... Uh, and really, you know, 
we dug ourselves our own hole at Iowa. We would have, we already would have been in, right? I think, or close to it. Uh, we would have been in, the, in that four. So we dug ourselves our own hole. So, you know, I mean, we're coming in the back door kind of if we do, although other teams have done some things too. But if we uh, plan Thursday, we're going to be fired up to plan Thursday. If we get to Friday, uh, we're going to be excited about that. I, I think the, the best thing is we've proven uh, playing our, arguably one of the toughest schedules in the league that uh, we can play with anybody. Unfortunately, a lot of teams can play with us. Joey sort of described it a little bit for us a bit ago. but Yeah, what did he, he say? <laughs> he was said he really wasn't expecting to do it, but everybody else sort of told him to. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He told me that it's uh, – you act like it was a religion, that you can't kiss the Spartan head twice. So, I, you know, Joey, I mean, you know Joey is. So I said, fine, don't kiss it, you know. And then he was out there. I think he got caught up in the emotion or something. And uh, – and he did, which is a little surprising to me, but he didn't want to go through senior night again. And, but, you know, what a story it is for Joey. You know, um, you know, only got seven shots, make six of them, get six rebounds. You know, again, playing too many minutes. Uh, Malik with the back injury, and then we had some things that we didn't do as well. But uh, I, I thought Joey Hauser, you know, missed the free throw. He's a 90% free throw shooter. AJ missed the couple. He said I froze him out on the last one. You know, that's the great thing about AJ. You know, he's at the line with five seconds left, and he misses the free throw, and he says, let me look around. And he looked around, there are 15,000 people, and he said, it's the coach's fault. You froze me out. So I said, you're damn right I did. I'm practicing for big games coming up. Coach, uh, you mentioned senior day kind of being an emotional day for everybody and kind of hard. Um, of course, you let the guys kind of have their excitement and everything, but after it's all over, how do you get the guys back focused and in that right mindset? Yeah, you know, it's uh, mindset right now and focus is, is a challenge for everybody. You know, it's going to be an interesting week because we're on spring break, and uh, which is kind of good, but I don't like it because, you know, it'd be nice to get into a routine. I think, I think we haven't been in a routine for like three three years, you know, between COVID and all the things we've gone through. So a routine is important, but uh, we'll, uh, we're going to debate depending when we play and when we go over to Chicago. I think, you got to check the rules. Well, that's right, there aren't any rules anymore. So maybe we'll do whatever we want and maybe go over a day early. Uh, you know, uh, a couple of years ago we went over early and went to the play Hamilton just so I could tell all the people in the UP that I have some culture and some awareness. And um, maybe we'll go to a Bulls game. Maybe we'll do something. Or, uh, or maybe we'll just sit here and try to get better. You know, we'll, we'll check that out. Uh, we'll, I don't think we'll know till tomorrow night, what, right? Is that right? Like, when's the last game? And, and there's four games on Saturday. I mean, Sunday. And you guys question my sanity. I mean, come on. Six? Oh, God, how exciting. Tom, I'm curious. You mentioned, obviously, the things you need to work on defensively, the rebounding. But considering the way this season's gone, kind of the things you've been through, and you keep talking about this is a team you believe can make a run. Is it, is it rounding in position to where you feel like you're really close to being in that spot to where we can – we can start rattling games off. Yeah, and you know what? I don't mind putting that pressure on us. Normally, I would downplay it. Um, I do think we are. Um, I read my lips. I don't think we're the best team I've had. I don't think we're great. But I think we're, we're coming into our own, and, and, and especially, I mean, we're averaging 81 points a game in the last five or six games. We're shooting now. I think 50 from the field and 50 from the three. And I don't know, we screwed up there at the free throw line, but we're still up in the high 80s. But ever since I came here, games are won, tournament games are won with defense rebounding. And that leads to the running, you know. And when we were doing a pretty good job the first half, we were running. And the second half, we just didn't do as good a job. They got a lot of penetration. When they get penetration, 
more chance for offensive rebounds. They didn't get a ton of them, but uh, we just, uh, I feel good because I think we can get that back. Okay, I really do. I, I, if they'd never done it before, like if I was sitting here right now, we're shooting 40% and 30 from the three, like some teams are in our league, I, I would feel worse because then I'd say, God, can we shoot the ball? Can we do this? Can we, we've done, we've, we've really improved in the area we were weakest, and we've really gone downhill in the area we were the strongest. But I think we can get that back, and it's going to be a battle cry. I mean, who knows? Maybe we can have an offensive practice for 10 minutes and practice defense for two days. You know, maybe that would help, and, and maybe we'll do that. We're going to figure out a way. We're going to defend better than we've been defended. I promise you that. Uh, what did you like from uh, Hogard running the offense today? Yeah. You know, I didn't even uh, notice his stats, you know, but, uh, you know, he gets 23 points and he only takes 11 shots. And, uh, you know, AJ and I got a deal, you know, the inside out threes, he can shoot them. Uh, the other ones, um, you know, we sometimes don't agree on, you know, and uh, he's taking less and less of those. You know, he's two for three. I thought every shot he took was a good shot. Um, you know, he's been shooting 90% from the line every night in practice. The night before a game we shoot, he shot 91% last night. Uh, so, um, you know, he only had seven assists because some guys missed some shots, but he did only have one turnover too, you know. So when Tyson's got six assists, he's got seven assists. You know, he gets 17 assists on 29 baskets. Not great for us, but it isn't bad. And uh, the ball is moving better. And, you know, if we get our defense to match our offense right now, that seems, seems like it should be easier to do than it probably is. Um, then I think this team has a chance, you know, to, to make a run. You know, you, you, can, you can be good and it comes down to matchups in, the, in these tournaments. Could be the Big Ten tournament, wrong matchup. It could be the NCAA tournament. That stuff happens, but we're – our guard play has been better and better, and you usually need good guard play. You need to be able to defend to win in, in, in any kind of tournament scenario. Tom, I want to ask you a little bit deeper about AJ, and in particular the free throws. Um, you've praised him all year long for how he's improved in that area, and it's clear that in these late game situations where you guys are up a couple possessions and the fouls start happening, he wants the ball in his hands. He wasn't giving it up today. He wasn't giving it up against Iowa either. But in both of those games, obviously the one crucial miss against Iowa and then the one today after, you know, you joked about icing him. Where do you still feel about his confidence at the free throw line in those big moments where even though he's been good all game, these are the ones that really matter? Oh, uh, it's phenomenal. No, that doesn't bother me a bit. It's phenomenal because he did his work. It's simple. Um, and Mark Montgomery has done a very good job with him. He forces him to shoot those free throws every day when – when, when, AJ goes down there. I mean, I I let Monty know what I thought of at the beginning of the year. And so he goes there with him every day. It's got to be sickening. But what's really cool is when um, you get results. And his results, you know, they're not in a game or they're not at the end. Uh, and one thing, AJ, that I don't worry about, he's cocky enough to make those at the end. Don't worry about that. Now, he's confident enough to make those at the end. I mean, I mean, uh, so, I, no, I don't worry about that at all. I and I think he's earned what he's got. He's put his time in, he's been religious about it, and he's been consistent all year. And uh, so, uh, you know, if I can convince him now on his three-point shot, you know, keep working on that the same way. Still, you know, I still want to get his body in better. I mean, we still got things to work on, but what he has worked on, he's done a damn good job of it. Tom, I know senior day is very special here with this program. But with Ohio State really battling you to the end, was it a moment where you thought, maybe I won't be able to substitute the guys out because we got to battle this thing out to the, to the clock at zero? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we, and we played Ohio State back when Draymond was here. I think we lost the Big Ten championship. That's when uh, Dawson blew his knee. We were up 16. and um, So I've had, I think, two – Senior days, but I, I stole this from Wisconsin, to um, be honest with you. And I still think it's one of the great things you can do 
players deserve more than what you can do for them before the game. And uh, I've been there through a loss. People still stayed. It's a little harder. But uh, yeah, you worry about that. You don't, you don't sleep very well. I mean, that's one of the reasons you don't sleep very well. And uh, with uh, five minutes left, I wasn't doing very well awake. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you worry about that, but you worry more about losing the game. I mean, God bless the seniors, and, and it is important to me, but uh, the win is important too because that helps them as we move forward. Tom, you mentioned with about five minutes to go, not being happy being awake necessarily. When they, when they cut it to three and then you guys answer immediately with, with a bucket, um, what, in, in your experience, what is the difference between winning and losing in those moments? What, what, is, what separates a team? They've been fighting all game. They get within striking range, and then you, you, all, you make a play. That's happened to Ohio State a lot this year. What's the difference yeah, in those moments? Well, I think guard play is one of them, but I, I do think uh, Tyson Walker. I mean, that layup he made, uh, I don't know how he got it off. He made a couple of big plays. Uh, Tyson's now been a go-to guy in those kind of situations. When, when, uh, and, and sometimes we just got to let him go because when we, when we screen for him, they trap him and stay with it, try to get it out of his hands. So we did a few other things. But uh, I think guard play is critical at the end of games. You know, last year we'd miss free throws. Uh, AJ shot 60-some percent. Uh, we... Just we were very young at the guards. Now we got some experience. Jaden shooting it really well. Still gotta figure out, you know, what's a good shot, a bad shot here and there. But uh, I think our guard play and and I thought the change of the game, even though they came back, was when Tyson really got into it defensively. Then AJ did, then he did, and it was too bad because Malik just couldn't go with his back. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why he looks stiff as hell. And uh, he's had a few problems this week, and I, I don't think it's anything serious. It just, but he wasn't moving as good. That was the only negative. Coach, with Malik being here the past four years versus the other two guys that were honored today, um, been through a lot with this season alone with the injury. What have you seen from him that you've liked in terms of personal growth? Well, Malik's my favorite guy because I've seen everything through him. You know, he's he's been through it all here. I mean, his career started. You know, there was. We've had issues from day one, and uh, meaning things that just happen in life, and uh, COVID was a major, major part of it. And, you know, so your second year, when you're having a good year, all of a sudden you're off that summer, you don't get to really practice. Um, these, these guys have, you know, I, I feel bad for that class, even my own son. I feel bad that they did not get the normal experience that 90% of you did um, that went to college, you know, and. It's, it's too bad. I mean, uh, I've said it a hundred times. I'll say it some more that, you know, I had my other college roommate with us, Jerry Rosberg, who, today, who was the coach of the, the uh, Broncos there a couple games, but he was in pro football for a long time. And, you know, last night we sat and talked a little bit after guys shot. And what do you talk about? You talk about the NFL? Hell no. You talk about my team? Hell no. Talk about what we did in college. You know, in a, in a positive, in a good way, you know, and uh, how we give our right arm to be back there. And I, I, I just, it saddens me that uh, I don't think our kids are going to have that same experience, this group. And then what does it do? You know, as they grow older, you know, what do we do? How do we navigate around this is going to be uh, a little difficult. Somehow we got to get back to... Um, what I think is the real world. I know it's going to change some, but I, I don't think it's going to ch If it changes as much as it's been lately, I think we're all in trouble. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Look forward to seeing some of you in Chicago.